everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be continuing what if not so hand cremation but before that we have a few announcements that we can get right into the video yeah i know this is a little weird i said announcements instead of saying let's get right back into the vid well, let's get right into the video yeah i know but hear me out so this is my friend tainted i've known my friend tainted for around i think two years now um he's a very chill person He's similar to me, um, but he's not going to be doing the same content as me. We will have collabs in the future. Like, that is definitely a plan. But for those of the people that are, um, you know, devoted, like, actual people that um, are chill, if y'all want to go follow him, hit him up. I think he's posting his first video today. I'll see if I can mention him in the description of the video hopefully i can if i can't let him be tough but it's hard to find his name so if you can't find him right away don't trip uh hopefully he'll comment on this video and y'all could just go subscribe him subscribe to him off of that subscribe to him off of that anyway without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> As Naruto uh, melts himself out of the rubble using his fire once he wakes up, he immediately starts searching for Kanin and Hinata. He finds Hinata unscathed but finds Kanin with a broken leg, and knowing that her healing ability does not work on herself, he is infuriated figuring out that he is going to have to stay in the village a little longer. And... Hinata is equally as mad because she doesn't want to see Naruto angry and, well, Kadin's pretty much like her favorite person besides Naruto. So, um, when Naruto, like, gets his bear, like, after Naruto realizes that fact, he gets to a high point to see what's going on and he sees Kakashi, Jiraiya, and Tsunade fighting all the paths of pain and when naruto sees this he's like oh that could be fun but then he hears like a voice in the back of his head and was like they have the renegon you shouldn't uh leave your guard down and well you shouldn't uh let your guard down and naruto stops and he's like what what was that and uh the nine tells was like it was me and naruto was like so you're the thing that everyone's been talking to me about or uh afraid of and karama telling naruto that um i'm not gonna basically telling him that if he loses control in this fight he's gonna take over and if um he, like, if he needs any help, he's not going to unless it's, like, really endangering his life. Because, well, it's Karama. He doesn't necessarily mess with Naruto at this point anyway. So, they, um, Naruto makes his way over there. And when he gets over there, um, Pain immediately introduces Naruto to everyone. And... Naruto was like, oh, that's amazing. You did some research. And he was like, not research. And then he looks off to the side. And lo and behold, there's a Rochimaru in a, um, in a Akatsuki robe. Uh, Naruto was like, you know, I should have imagined something like that was going to happen. I mean, after all, you really were always, always a snake. And Orochimaru laughs at this, and out from Orochimaru comes Sasuke. And Naruto is like, oh, uh, I'm going to, like, he doesn't tell him, but Naruto is like, I completely forgot about him in his head. And Naruto is like, yo, like, um, it's been a while. And Sasuke, being edgelord, was like, don't talk to me. I'll kill you someday, Naruto. 
and <laughs> they dip off, and Naruto's like, yeah, in your dreams, buddy, in your dreams, so, Naruto turns back to pain, and was like, so, let me guess, Orochimaru tipped you off that I would be here, so you came back to blow up the village, and pain was like, actually, no, I came here to fight the little brat that they called the Nine Tails. But since the original Nine Tails is here, that's even better. And Naruto was like, you know that he didn't have the Nine Tails in the first place, right? And the pain was like, what? And Naruto was like, he never had the Nine Tails. I always had the Nine Tails. And Pain got mad because Orochimaru told Pain that Naruto never had the Nine Tails to begin with. So, Pain um, is furious with uh, Orochimaru. So, um, he tells Conan to go and get Itachi to deal with Orochimaru. Which is strange, but Conan agrees, and she dissipates into papers to uh, find Itachi. And when she finds Itachi, she tells him what to do, and Itachi was like, it might take me a while, but I, I can still do it. And Conan was like, understandable. Um, And then she tell, Conan stops and tells Itachi that, she thinks that um, Nagato might die or Pain might die and Itachi is listening and Itachi realizing that if Pain dies um, all of it technically could be over if his Renegon um, if either if he gets one of his Renegon because Itachi already knows since he's he's about as strong as anyone on the on on like that any shinobi could ever imagine him getting a Renegon would be like um, Madara getting a Renegon, basically. So, uh, Itachi starts scheming. And plus, he also thinks about if he gets a Renegon, he could do the Rene, um, he could do the King of Hell and heal himself from his, um, my Gekyo Shinigan sickness or whatever the fuck the sickness that he has is. So, um, Naruto, uh, so Itachi starts scheming, and Naruto, um, is fighting the paths of pain, but the only problem is, is that Naruto doesn't use chakra, all of his abilities stem from himself, so there's nothing for the, um, the one to absorb, the chakra rods hurt him, but they don't kill him like yeah he got stabbed with the hands and shit but the nine tails although he doesn't use the chakra the nine tails is also still healing him because well he's nine tails he still has his healing factor chakra or not so we get down to the last pain the last pain which is the diva pain and during naruto's and the diva pain's fight um Naruto somehow loses the upper hand during one of his almighty pushes and gets his leg crushed by a rock. Pain getting cocky um um walks over to well vanishes and then comes back with um cutting in his like in his hand and Naruto's telling him, like, what are you doing? And the Nine Tails in the back of Naruto's head, like, hey, you're getting a little carried away. And Naruto was like, leave her alone. Like, don't touch her. Leave her alone. She has nothing to do with this. And pa- Nagato was like, she's one of the last remaining. Well, Pain was like, she's one of the last remaining Uzumakis besides you. The only difference is that she actually can use a chakra. And she has a relatively decent healing factor. Well, healing ability. And I don't think I want that to be on your side. And 
pain and pulls out a chakra rod. And Naruto uh, tells him to stop. And Pain was like, I'll give you an option. Either you join my side and watch me kill Naruto and extract the tailed beast. Or you die here. And Karin looks Pain directly in the face and tells him, I would rather die than abandon Naruto. And Pain was like, so be it. And he stabs Karin clean through the heart, instantly killing her. And when Hinata senses Kadin's, um chakra disappear, she's, like, destroyed. Like, she doesn't know how to react. Like, she's stuck. And then she sees that Naruto already, already has a broken leg. And then, like, yeah. So, Naruto starts sparking in blue flames. And the Nine Tails is like, I've always wondered... This is coming out of Naruto's mouth. He was like, I always wondered how it would feel to have control over this body. And Pain was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, hold on. And Naruto, you just the heat alone from the amount that Naruto is pushing off right now. Well, that Karama is pushing off right now. Melted the rock that was sitting on his leg, preventing him from moving. So, um, Karama stands up, and out from behind Karama comes three blue, well, nine blue, um, fox fire tails, you can say, I guess, and, um, his eyes are slit blue, and, yeah, his whiskers on his face are blue, yeah, yeah, I think that's just cool. <clears throat> so Pain was like well, what is this and um, Karama was like while well, Orochimaru was working on Naruto I was doing some testing of my own and turns out um, when one of the times when Orochimaru was putting one of his seals onto Naruto he weakened the seal just enough for me to take control and <clears throat> Naruto was like, that power, what is that? And looking back at the Nine Tails, and in like his mindscape, looking back at the Nine Tails, and the Nine Tails was like, that is something that we could, that you could have, but will never get if you keep going on the path that you are now. And like Naruto is legit seeing himself ragdoll pain, like all throughout the, um, like just all throughout everywhere. And then Pain does the um, <clears throat> the planetary devastation. And Naruto, for a brief second, regains control. And feeling the power that he has, he charges it up and he shoots a beam. Not even thinking, thinking that that was the original Pain. He shoots a beam through the... Um, head of the diva path just a pure beam of pure absolute heat like nothing was stopping that beam from hitting pain not even a push i promise you so then um when itachi arrives to nagato he sees nagato is exhausted and instead because it's naruto didn't have the did not have need to go find pain and plus, he didn't have sage mode, so it was going to be impossible for him to. So, <clears throat> Naruto, um, well, Itachi find, uh, finds where Nagato is, following Konan back to where Nagato was. And when Nagato reforms and she tells Nagato that everything is set in motion, she he grins and he's like, well, everything's done. My, uh, my puppets are destroyed for now. I'll rebuild them later. I'll have you go out and collect their bodies so I can rebuild them later. And he was like, for now, I guess I can just get some rest. And Itachi was like, I'm sorry, but, and he like, he opens the door. Well, he comes out from a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. He comes out from a shadow 
with like his my gecko showing and was like I'm sorry but I can't allow you to continue what you're doing and Nagato was like what are you doing here how did you even know that I was here and you thought she was like did you really think I was that stupid like, I didn't know that that pain wasn't really you I've done my research on all of the Keke Genkai. The only one that seems to evade me is Naruto's. It's weird. <laughs> so, um, Itachi uh, tells, well, Nagato asks Itachi what was his intentions now that he knows who, you know, like, now that he knows and is in the room with Nagato himself. Pain. I mean, not pain. Yeah. With, yeah, pain, but Nagato too. So Itachi tells him that, regrettably enough, he's going to have to kill him and take his Renegon. And Pain asks him, well, yeah, Pain, I'm going to just refer to him as Pain instead of Nagato. Pain asks him why. And when, instead of Itachi giving him an answer, he just looks up at him and, like, just stare, like, puts him in a genjutsu, trying to show Nagato what he's trying to achieve. Nagato, approving of this, <clears throat> decides that since he loves the Leaf Village so much, how about instead of you killing him, you let him do one final deed? And resurrect everyone in the village that he killed. And Itachi, respecting that because he does love the village, he agrees. And Nagato, with of course rejections from Konan, but with an objection from Konan, Nagato um brings back everyone in the village using the Rene Rebirth, and Itachi takes his Renegon. And tells Conan that I'm pretty sure that if he, before he died, he would have wanted you to stick with me. So if I guess for the time being, you're with me. And Conan, like, just agreed and she was, like, following him around. So they left and they went back to the Uchiha hideout. Now, Obito, realizing that now since he's, he, um, now, since Nagato is dead, he can now get his Renegon. But then, when he finds Nagato's body in the Rain Village, he doesn't find his Renegon, which is infuriating, and he can't find Conan anywhere. So, what he does is, is he goes to Itachi. Like, he figures out that Conan is with Itachi. And... He's hoping that Conan hasn't given him the Renegon. And when he gets there, Itachi's just sitting in the chair with his hood on. And Obito is like, I have a few questions for you. And Itachi opens his eyes, and one of his eyes is glowing purple. And Itachi was like, and I have answers. And this is where I'm in this part off. I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, drop a like. If you're a Gemini content, please subscribe. Anyway, this has been Shinobi. Peace.